the Patrick F. Taylor Foundation was started considerably numbers of years ago with the idea behind it being to assist particularly young people to afford an opportunity for them to receive post-secondary education. Now, it's true that the Patrick F. Taylor Foundation endeavors in many other respects as well. And of course, not the least of those have been the various causes that we've had with the military, but in particular, the United States Marine Corps. Through the years, you learn if you have the good fortune to be able to create your own family foundation that the, the saying which I believe comes from the Bible that it is far greater to give than to receive is certainly true. We have met innumerable young people not very different from yourself who have shown us what the few little things that we have done have impacted in their lives or in their organization or the opportunities that he has given to them. And we almost live vicariously through them and experience these things in you. So it has been very rewarding, both for Patrick and for myself. Well, I guess I have to go back and tell you a bit of a story about my husband, Pat Taylor, who uh, in his college days uh, signed up for the Marines. And while because of physical constraints, he ended up being classified 4F and uh, had to leave the Corps, he always felt that that was a very basic and intrinsic part of his education and that he probably learned more in his Marine Corps experience than he did in any one particular classroom, whether in high school or university. So we always felt that there was something there in the military in general, but with the Marines in particular, that teaches young individuals, in my day more men than women, that's changed, but to teach those individuals uh, leadership skills, the ability to think for themselves, uh, patriotism, which is certainly in the front and foremost of the, th of the skills that young people need to know about today. When I graduated from law school, and even back in those days, women in the Marines were still certainly the exception, I happened to receive a letter from the United States Marine Corps. Of course, it was addressed to Mr. Patrick, I'm sorry, Mr. Phyllis Taylor. So I guess because they felt that everybody that graduated from law school was a man, they invited me to become a leader of men. By this time, I was married to my husband, and so I cheerfully brought the letter, and I said, look, the Marines want me. And he said, well, that is out of the question. <laughs> Obviously, it was, it was not anything that I seriously intended. But I couldn't help but think about that letter and the great humor that we had involved with it when I received this wonderful, wonderful notice. Uh, I'm very honored to have this opportunity be given to me. But more than that, uh, I take this very seriously because I step, although in an honorary manner, I step into shoes that have been filled by some incredible individuals that I've known in my life and others that I did not know but that I have read about. So I take this as a serious responsibility. I don't know that anything would be any different. Uh, Patrick and I have always been dedicated to the Marines and very pleased to do whatever we can to enlist their causes and to further them as best we can. That would certainly continue, but I guess I would do it with the greatest sense of pride, knowing that I'm now one of them.